Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Thank you all so much for over 600 likes in the last episode. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if you want to continue supporting the series, by far the easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like. But of course, if you do want to go one further, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. So uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure this is a, was it a Ethereum? I think I can't remember if these guys are neutral. I mean, they're certainly not hostile, but I feel like they may be similar to a Therizino in that if you get too close to them, they might get a little bit annoyed. So I think what we need to do is give this guy a wide berth and do some stuffs around our house. Oh my god, there has been a victim of the Chalik Ethereum, or what I assume is the Chalik Ethereum anyway. So, um, yeah free resources. Haha! <laughs> and the first thing I'd like to do regarding this house is actually coming from the comment of the day here. Bigger B says, love the video Python. If there was one thing I'd change about the house, it would be putting the cooking pot and campfires under the overhangs you made. I think that is a fantastic idea. I really, really do. It gives it more of a homely vibe, doesn't it? So maybe one side we could have the campfires and cooking pot, and the other side we could potentially have a feeding trough. We could relocate the compost bin around there as well. And yeah, like I say, it just makes the place feel a bit more homely. So let's pick up the campfires. Let's pick up the cooking pot here pick up everything that was inside of those bits of furniture and we'll transfer it outside. So here we go, we'll have the cooking pot right about there and we'll have the two campfires nicely spaced out around here. See? Looks quite nice under here now, doesn't it? So now we've got a little bit of space here in the corner and I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make another large storage chest just so we've got ourselves an area to actually store our comment of the day notes because otherwise they are just going to be strewn all across my personal inventory and clog it up. <laughs> oh, look at that, my friends. Fits in real snug in the corner there and means we actually have a space to look out of the windows here. For the most part, the windows are kind of obstructed by various furniture bits, but uh, yeah... Feels quite nice now. It feels like we've got a good amount of ground space in here. Alrighty, so we've got ourselves a level up. Let's go ahead and pop, pop our weight just a little bit more. And at level 30, we have ourselves the sickle and the sword. Two things that I would very, very highly recommend you guys go ahead and get yourselves. The sword is basically the king of short-range combat, as the tooltip even says there. And the metal sickle is absolutely fantastic for getting a large supply of Fiber. So, yeah, we should actually have enough, at the very least, to make the sickle. Yeah, just enough, in fact. In order to make the sword, we need 50 metal ingots. Now, thankfully, we do have a bunch of river rock nearby, so that isn't actually too difficult to get. So, do you know what, my friends? We are going to go for the goal of getting ourselves a sword. So, we need 100 metal in total. Chuck it in a refining forge. Then we play the waiting game and then we'll have ourselves a sword. And the sword, I think, is going to replace our spears, okay? Ha! <laughs> my aim knows no bounds. It is fantastic, isn't it? All right, well, uh, yeah, there's a bird in the water there. We need to go and harvest it for resources. But for now, my friends, check it out. We've actually got more than enough metal to get this thing going. So we're going to split it across the four refining forges, get them all lit up, and have four times the metaling gain rate than if we were to just use one. Pretty cool. Things are about to get toasty up in here. Yeah! Four refining forges. Now we play the waiting game, my friends. Also in today's episode, we are going to tame our first ever dinos in the series. And I've got a pretty good idea as to the type of creature that I'd like to tame first. For any of you guys who remember any of my old Ark series, you'll know that I am a big fan of the Moss Chops. It is a fantastic all-rounder creature which is pretty easy to tame as long as you've got the right taming resource and it can do just about everything. It can gather resources, it's got a good amount of damage it can deal to other dinos. They truly are one of the best early game arc tames you can get, period. Hey guys, check it out. In the meantime, there is rather a significant amount of spark powder being made here. Hey, if I was to go ahead and take out a few stacks here, 
Uh, we chuck it in this one here. Right. Do we have gunpowder that we can unlock? Yes, we do. All right. So then we grab ourselves out all of the charcoal that has been produced via the refining forges and campfires and whatever else. We chuck it in with the spark powder. And what do you know? We can also get ourselves a supply of gunpowder. Yeah. So with another level up, we are going to unlock. Let's have a look here. We've got the Mammoth Saddle, the Iguanodon Saddle. Oh, we've got some good stuff here, my friendos. Wait, railing. I would like to have railings. Yeah, I like railings, my friends. I really do. Might as well go for the stone railing as well. Oh, 12 Angram points. What's the prerequisite? Stone wall. Okay. I mean, we're going to need to unlock that anyway. But the fact of the matter is we've got railings now. Not too bad. Well, I was talking before about having a feeding trough. There it is. It requires wood, metal, thatch, and fiber. So we might as well go ahead and get this bad boy crafted up and the compost bin relocated to under the other overhang of the house here. Yeah. All right, let's get that done. And hopefully by the time we do that... Uh, we'll have ourselves some good stuff. Unfortunately, it does mean we're gonna have to take everything out of here Which means the fertilizer creation process is going to be slowed a little bit, isn't it? But hey-ho, it is what it is, my friends. There we are. Place back down. All is looking well. All right, so let's get ourselves the resources needed to make ourselves a feeding trough. There we have it, my friends, a feeding trough. Beautiful. All you would then do is put any kind of food source in it and it would automatically keep all of your nearby dinos fed. You could put berries in there, you could put meat in there, you could put any food source that exists in the game in there, my friends. And like I say, it will just keep your dinos fed so you don't have to do it manually. So then, the metal is done and I'm hoping that we have enough here. Yep, 51. Ah, beautiful. So we go ahead and chuck that in there and there's the sword. Like I say, it's going to be replacing the spear as our sort of short range combat weapon. So there we have it. Yeah, our gear set is looking very nice right now, my friends. Alrighty, my friends. So we've got 12 more narcotics here. With that, we are going to make ourselves a bunch more trank arrows. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go hunting for our first dino tames. My shortlist is, of course, the moss chops, as I was mentioning, and potentially a raptor if I can get one by itself. If you get a pack of raptors, you're in trouble. You're basically dead. So yeah, we've got to be careful with that. But yeah, if I can find a moss chops that requires only basic resources in order to tame it, we might be in with a good chance of trying to get ourselves a decent raptor and be able to fend off the other ones if there winds up being a pack, you know? All right, housey, I'm going to go exploring. You stay there and you keep yourself warm for me, okay? Because it's raining out here. According to the bottom right, it's cold as well. So uh, yeah, we should probably... Probably try to get this done quick sharp, eh? We try and find ourselves a good old moss chops, find out what it needs to be tamed, find out what level it is. And yeah, if it's a high level and it only requires something basic in order to be tamed, then we're good. All right, guys, what do you think? Are we about to go ahead and give a go our sword here? Ha! Yeah! Nope, nope. Can't kill me, sir. I am way too good. Oh, it's a compy. Oh, he died very quickly as well. <laughs> it's so dumb. Hey! You are level five. You are not allowed to hurt me, sir. I can't believe that. He had the audacity to hurt me. Hey, guys, check it out. There we are. A moss chop. It is level 85, and it requires only Mijo berries. So with taming effectiveness, this guy is going to be, what, level 120 plus upon taming? So why don't we go ahead and grab ourselves some Mijo berries here, and uh, we're going to go for this guy. All right, do we have Mijo berries? Yep, there we have it. All right. Feed Mijo Berry. That's it. That is how you get a Moss Chops. It's super easy. And the best thing about them is you don't even need a saddle to ride them. You can get on the back of them straight away and have a really good time. Look at that. 123 damage we're doing to other creatures. Kind of nuts. So when it comes to taming creatures in Ark, I usually have a bit of a rule. The maximum level cap is level 150 for a typical normal creature, you know, a non-tech creature. And what I usually do is try to find one that's level 100 plus. Now, obviously, this guy was only level 85, but... It's still a pretty decent level for a starter tame, right? So, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this guy. I mean, look, level 127, 
It's still kind of decent, man. And it's got a level up as well. In fact, it's got two levels up. So, what are we thinking? Health? Weight? Melee damage? Ooh, maybe a bit of all of the above. <laughs> hey, guys, I just two shot a parasaur. What an embarrassment. Oh, would you look at that? We've got even more levels up. I'm telling you, man, Moss Chops, they are one of the all-time great early tames in Ark. They are so easy to get, and they are so all-round useful. You'd be a fool to pass them up. Ah! Ah! No! No, no, no! Okay, wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Thanks for that little Mr. Crocodile Sarko, dude. Appreciate that one, sir. All right, what do you got in here? Oh, look at that. We've got our first ever trophy of the series, the Sarko skin. Haha. <laughs> so the reason why you would pick up those trophies is because they are used to summon in a boss, basically. So yeah, you're going to want to pick up every single trophy item you can find in your world, okay? Sweet lord, you've got a lot of resources on you there, buddy. Good lord. All right. Uh, well, we probably don't need this amount of meat, right? I mean, these guys pretty much eat everything. They can eat meat. They can eat berries. Again, an all-time great tame, these moss chops. They eat everything, for goodness sake. A lot of the other creatures are very fussy in that they're carnivores or they're herbivores. But this guy just... Takes everything. Now, ordinarily, when it comes to scouting creatures to tame, what you would typically do is bring a spyglass with you. But unfortunately, I don't have access to uh, crystals at the moment, which is something you need to make the spyglass. Uh, so at this particular point, what I feel like would be a good idea is if we do manage to find a raptor, a lone raptor more to the point, we use a bowler on it, check out its level up close, and then if it's a low level, we just kill it, basically. And if it's a high level, we can use our trank arrows to take it out of the game. Knock it out and become ours. For now though, I'm a little bit distracted by this guy. What level are you? Level 80? It's a male one as well. Okay, so you require something I just flat out don't have. A rare flower. Yeah, that's a nah. If it was a female with a decent level and required only a basic resource to tame, then I would have had no issues with going ahead and taming it and then we'd have a breeding pair. But yeah, since it wasn't I'm really not too fast. Huh. Talking to rat. Hey, who did that? Hey, hang on a minute. Where is he? Where is he? You son of a gun. You're dead. That is right. Absolutely ruined. You just got embarrassed. I have not missed a single arrow today so far. 100% accuracy rate. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Fear my epic ranger skills. Oh, poor little raptor. There's a little raptor corpse on the floor here. It's only level 15, but... Uh, yeah, um, I guess for now, you can be of use to us in that you give me hide. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, okay. We inadvertently tamed a pego. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, oh, you're level 75 as well. Huh, kind of cool. So, yeah, you can pick these guys up and you can have them on your shoulder. Look at this dude. <laughs> Best thing is, you can have the Pego ride you while you are riding the Moss Chops. Look at it. It's like Rideception. That sounds really weird out of context. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our very first couple of tames here, and we've brought them back to our base. Oh, it's a good time, my friends. It is a good time. So let's go ahead and park this guy proudly out the front here. And there we have it, my friends. Our first ever tame. Hey. And in terms of the guy on my back, if I press F twice, there you go. He just winds up just sort of sitting there, apparently on my bed. You claimed my bed immediately. That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? That's a bit of a cheeky thing to do. All right, my friends. So we've got a few levels up sort of all over the place here. We have ourselves a level up for ourselves, which is great. And at level 32, we can get ourselves a whole bunch of not a lot, actually. So I think what I'll do is maybe just sort of save up. Although, are there any saddles that I'd like to get? I mean, I was kind of wanting to get that Stego saddle, wasn't I? In fact, there it is. Yeah, Iguanodon Saddle. Iguanodons are a nice tame. It's been a while since I've tamed one of them, I must admit. So do you know what? 
I'm going to unlock that saddle as well. So check it out, my friends. I've actually gone ahead and added some food to the feeding trough here. And as a result, we now have a little bit of a symbol above the text there. And that simply means that the dino is within range of the feeding trough to the point where it can automatically eat from the feeding trough. So yeah good stuff. All right, so right now I'm just topping up on my ammo for my crossbow, and then we're going to head back out into the world and see if we can find ourselves a raptor. That would be the episode end goal if we can achieve it. I certainly hope we can, because at the end of the day, raptors are a very good early tame as well. They are certainly faster than the moss chops are, and they can jump as well, which is pretty cool. Unlike the moss chops, the raptors do indeed require a saddle, and you need fiber, hide, and wood for it. A pretty simple crafting recipe. Huh. That was easy. And there we have it. A raptor saddle. Beautiful. We have ourselves a level up from that. So let's go ahead and do... Ooh, I'm going to do weight again. And we'll see what we get at level 33. Oh, the ghillie armor. Probably my favorite set of armor in the entire game. Simply because when you go into caves, it sort of acts almost like an invisibility cloak towards the bugs that may reside in the caves. So having ghillie armor not only sort of dampens the visibility of you towards bugs, but it also has a good amount of armor value, 32, which is more than 50% higher than that of the hide armor, which I've got going on right now. So yeah, we will indeed unlock all of the ghillie bits. Oh, snap! All right, there is indeed a raptor over there. A little bit hard to see in the brush there, but there it is. If I was to sort of uh, lure it over here, Wait, what's he trying to kill at the minute? A little bit confused. He should wind up turning on me. Oh, no. No. Oh, God. Okay. Get him immobilized at the very least. I'm going to have to take the risk at this particular point. Oh, I really don't want those buggies following me. I'll kill them in just a minute here. But what I'd really like to do is take that raptor out of the game first. Okay. Okay. Mm. Get off me, man! Oh, these guys are really quite annoying, actually. Come on, you stupid bugs! Leave me alone! You don't half bug me! Wait. He's just run away. Buddy! Hey! You come back here there, son! hi yeah! I missed. Ah, oh, darn it. Come on! Come on! If he's running away, that means he's near to being knocked out here. Ha! How about now? Oh, my God. What a hit. Absolutely beautiful. Boom! There we go. Right, where'd those buggies go? They're sort of still there, floating around. Okay, there goes the raptor. good -o. No! 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 No more! No more! No more! No more! Whew. Okay, we're good, baby. We're good. We have just taken out a raptor, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's level 90! Very nice! Okay, so we go ahead and put some meat in its inventory. Hey! Hang on a minute, buddy. Oh, they're on the floor now, huh? Go on, then. You want to go? You want to go? A little bit of a ground assault, huh? No more. No more of that nonsense, buddy. No more of that nonsense. But anyways, yeah, like I was saying, you go ahead, you put meat in their inventory. Because, of course, raptors are carnivores. And then, literally, we just play the waiting game. Only a taming effectiveness of 81.5%, though. That means it has been hit while it has been downed. Maybe I accidentally put an additional arrow in it when I didn't need to. Or maybe those pesky buggies got to it before I was able to kill the bugs. That's kind of annoying. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're still going to wind up with, what, a level 126 raptor? That's about the same-ish level my moss chop started off as. Yay! We got ourselves a raptor! Very nice! All right, what are you, actually? You are a male raptor. All right, we need to come up with a cool name for you there, buddy. Oh, look at him. He's so pretty. You are one handsome raptor. You know, for some reason, I can see this raptor being a Remy. So yeah, Remy the raptor. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and put a saddle on you. And ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Hey, pretty cool. We got ourselves a raptor. And like I say, they can run faster than the moss chops can. And they can also jump around, which makes them way more maneuverable than the moss chops. Also, I've just noticed there is a loot beam up here. It's only the lowest tier of loot beam you can get. But check it out, my friends. If we didn't check out this loot beam, we wouldn't have ourselves some additional campfires and sleeping bags and little water skins. I'd say that was worth it, to be honest with you. Oh, dear. Oh, that was a good amount of fall damage. 
Although saying that, oh no, it wasn't. Huh, okay. Usually scaling mountains and or falling down mountains, it's not the greatest idea in the entire world. Oh, there's a compy army after me. I ain't having none of that nonsense. Go on, get out of here. Get out. Go on, all y'all. Oh, they're all dead now. <laughs> so the little compy army gave my raptor a couple of levels up. I think we'll level this guy up to the point of having, what, maybe a thousand health. And then maybe we'll start going for a little bit of weight and melee damage. Because we need this guy to perhaps do a little bit more damage than it does currently. Because it doesn't do as much damage as my moss chops does, for example. But anyways, here we have it. We now have our two main tames here. We've got the raptor. We've got our moss chops here. And let's not forget... Get, of course, about our beautiful Pego just down here. I can see this Moss Chops being named Max. So there we are. We've got Remy, we've got Max, and I think I know what I'm going to call this guy as well. Uh, let's do options, rename Paul. Paul the Pego. <laughs> so what do you guys think, eh? A little bit of a family photo, eh? <laughs> we've got our Pego on our back, we've got our beautiful Raptor, and our wonderful Moss Chops as well. Three dinos tamed. In one episode, I was only going for maybe one or two, but we came out with three. So, hey, not too bad. So, on that successful note, I think it is time to end off today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and the fact that we finally got our first few dinos tamed in this series here, please do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and drop a like. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future ARC episodes here. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>